Riley Gaines, you all know her as the now famous NCAA swimmer that has spoken mm -hmm. out against Leah Thomas being competed against right. women. She's at women's, a Senate hearing. Women's race. rights activist. Women's rights activist. Riley Gaines. Shout out to her, man. Salute to her for bravely speaking out against the devilish man. Like the devil is going on. The, channel is possible, so you know what to do. Riley Gaines, the exclusion. You the erasure of biological women. Salute. I venerate Riley Gaines for bravely, courageously, intrepidly speaking out against the the the, the excluding excluding of biological women, the the erasure of biological women. Shout out to her for standing against this BS. Man. Shout out to Amala Epinobi so as well, man. Riley Gaines, you all know her as the now famous NCAA swimmer that has spoken out against Leah Thomas being able to mm -hmm. compete against women. She's at a Senate hearing that is surrounding LGBTQ plus Americans. It's titled Protecting Pride, Defending the Civil Right of LGBTQ plus Americans. Now, she testified before the Senate, which I imagine is a very nerve-wracking thing to do. Yeah. Sorry. Now, if it needs to be said, so we keep so it's she held her own, and especially yep. in this clip. You know, I'm going to that a biological male has a physical advantage in sports over a biological female? Not a, de a definitive statement. Give me an example. Well, no, I, I don't think so. How, 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 how many female members of the NBA in the sports? Well, I can't <laughs> say that, you know, there's been this news article. Zero female players in the NBA. How, how, how many female members in the NBA? Zero female players. Well, I can't say that, you know, the there's N been this news NBA. article about men that think that they could beat Serena Williams in tennis, right? That they think that they could actually score a point on her. Uh, and it's just not the case. She is stronger than that. What's your experience? Male or female? Both Serena and Venus lost to the 203rd ranked male tennis player, which they're phenoms for women. <laughs> Um, my experience, my husband, he swam at University of Kentucky as well. In terms of accolades and in terms of national ranking, I was a much better swimmer than him. Um, he could kick my butt any day of the week yeah. without trying. Yeah. I love Riley's just calm, cool, collected mm -hmm. delivery of oh. an outright fact that just completely demolished the argument that this woman is making. So for those of you who do not recognize this woman, she is the current sitting president of the Human Rights Campaign. Those of you who don't know what the Human Rights Campaign is, it is a massive LGBTQ plus organization that claims to be continuing the fight for equality and is often at the front lines of the debate surrounding gender ideology, the transgender movement, and anything that has to do with the LGBTQ plus agenda here in the United States of America. So she's going up against the big dogs in front of the U.S. Senate, and she held her own by simply stating facts. And what must be acknowledged is how confident Miss Kelly Robinson was and Kelly Robinson made the claim that men that think that they could beat Serena Williams in tennis, right? That they think that they could actually score a point on her. Uh, and it's just not the case. She is stronger than that. Well, that's the words you just heard her say. Even though Riley Gaines has evidence to the contrary, yeah. we all have evidence to the contrary. Especially Brosh, I believe is how you pronounce his name, a German tennis player who was ranked 203rd among the men. Defeated Venus and Serena both <coughs> in the same day. So where Legendary did Kelly Robinson tennis get the knowledge that Venus and Serena could not be beat by men, <laughs> or that a man could not score a single point on them? Would she just assume that people were going to view what she said as factual because she comes from a position of authority uh, by being the president of the Human Rights Campaign? Yes, I think that's exactly definitely what assumed. Here. Luckily, Riley Gaines was there to fact check her. Yeah. <gasps> She could have been fact checked in many different ways yeah. here, right? The senator asked her specifically, Can you give me some examples? Let's talk about that time that the U.S. women's national team for soccer got beat by an under 15 boy squad. <laughs> and if you want an even more recent example of that, we just had a U.S. women's soccer team of former national players just get completely wrecked by the rest of this men's team, which is also former male players in the sport of soccer. Well, Zero wow. in a 40 minute game. Is wow. this to knock on women or to say they're not strong or to say they're not capable? Absolutely not. It's simply to acknowledge that there are differences between men and 
biological the beautiful difference. thing I think Riley said was talking about her relationship with her husband. My husband, he swam in her city, I'm a, as well. And I'm going to stop it right here. I'm going to come back. Let me know what y'all think, man.